Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Head Prestige Pro 2021. Formerly called the Prestige Mid Plus, Head has changed its naming structure so this racket model is now called the Prestige Pro. You'll still find the same Mid Plus head size and 1820 string pattern, but this Pro gets updated with flexible, oxetic construction for improved feel and a more solid response. The specs remain virtually unchanged with an average strung weight of 11.9 ounces, a 6 points headlight balance, a 327 swing weight and a 60 RA. You can call it a mid plus or you can call it a pro. I've always been a fan of this spec of the Prestige and with this update now called the Pro, still enjoying that beautiful dense string pattern giving me a ton of precision on the ball and for me that's what a Prestige is all about. Felt very dialed in with this racket really enjoying it from all areas of the court. Um, enough mass to get my serves moving through the court nicely, so I had just enough of power, and I'm definitely not having to work as hard with this version of the Prestige compared to the outgoing Prestige Mid Plus, where I felt like I was just working a little too hard to do what I wanted with the ball. This one I seem to get a little more as a zip out of the string bed, but still a ton of feel of control. I'm loving it on my drop volleys and on my drop shots from the baseline. It's a really solid update and one of the best versions of the Mid Plus, now called the Pro, that I've hit from the Prestige family. It has been a summer of 1820s for me and my playtesting, and this capped it off as my favorite uh, closed pattern racket this year. Uh, I feel like a broken record lately. Um, even though I prefer a 16-19 pattern, uh, this frame gave me everything I wanted. Uh, from the baseline, I felt like it opened up the court really nicely. I was able to take a little bit of pace off my shots and really move the ball later, uh, laterally and vertically as well. Um, so taking pace off and really kind of exploring really a nice shallow angle um, was really successful throughout the playtest. Uh, moving up to net, super solid feel up there. Uh, and in singles point play, I actually found myself moving forward, which is like an out of body experience. Um, so, so that kind of trustworthiness uh, was, was incredible. Now serving uh, was another really big plus. Um, my first serve, no problem at all. Second serve, I really had to focus on keeping the racket head speed nice and fast through the motion. Um, but I was rewarded with a really nice heavy second serve uh, with nice consistency. Uh, so overall, this was a racket that I would actually consider switching to. Uh, shockingly enough, even with the closed pattern, uh, I really enjoyed this frame. Very happy to be named to this play test. Got a good amount of time to test out this new 2021 Head Prestige Pro, formerly the MP. I am a little confused about the names. If there's something that I am very clear about is how special this racket is and how much I enjoy playing with it. So I know this term gets thrown out around a lot. Solid, this is an extremely solid frame. I'll even say solid times two. Uh, if you're looking you know, to know what to expect, look at the prior MP and you're gonna get a real good idea as Chris mentioned. It's probably a little whippier, a little lower swing weight. You're getting something close to 330 strung swing weight on this one. But overall, it's just one of the best prestiges I have ever played with thus far. I know I'm putting a bullseye on my back saying that, but from anywhere in the court, this racket seemed to work for me. Plenty of mass-based power, and it's not so heavy that it would be weight prohibitive like a 330 or a 340 gram frame. So this is something I really feel like I can test out in a tournament situation quickly, really enjoy it from anywhere in the court. I would suggest, you know, for my own uh, purposes, everyone knows my loopy swing path on the forehand wing. Uh, an edgy string that will kind of catch the fur of the ball will give you that little extra launch angle that's harder to get with an 18 main. And that combination made this one of my favorite rackets I've played tested thus far. With this uh, 2021 update of the Prestige, uh, the Pro version here, formerly known as the MP with the 1820 pattern, really impressed overall with the feel of this racket. Uh, the Prestige over the years has been a, a great feel-oriented frame, but a couple subtle updates here. Um, I think the slight increase in the swing weight really helped on stability and a little bit more put-away power than the previous version. So really noticed that from uh, finishing shots up at the, or at the baseline and also when coming to net, a little more stable as well as on the return of serve. I felt like I could block the ball back against bigger hitters uh, with more effectiveness. Um, like the last version, this true 98 head size does give you a little more forgiveness than older Prestigious, so I like that from the baseline. Plays a little bit more modern and easier to use. Um, and just really love the feel of this one. I think fans of like the old school, like UTech IG, maybe even going back to like Intelligence, is re are really gonna love the way this racket feels. And I just feel like I can really do what I want with the ball and be very crafty. So 
overall, I think this is a great update and I really like the cosmetic as well. For the review today, we strung up this Prestige Pro 2021 with a set of Heads Lynx Tour 17 gauge at 50 pounds. For more information on this product or anything else tennis related, be sure to go to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe or Tennis Only.